What is this? It's a cloth pot and um, smoke, and the smoke is coming into the cloth pot. What does the, the smoke do? Uh, it makes things cook. So I found this in the Goodwill pile, and uh, there's a project that I've always wanted to do with a crock pot, and that's make a sous vide machine. Um, sous vide is type of cooking that you use constant temperature for a long period of time, like a crock pot, um, only lower temperature, exact temperature for a long period of time. So this uh, machine can't do it the way it is, but I'm going to hack it. So I ordered a bunch of parts for my Arduino from uh, Lady Ada and their fun team up in New York. They don't sell the kit or anything, you gotta put it together. Um, but you can buy all the parts from them, adafruit.com. Um, so I'll put the parts list in the description, but you can also get it off their website. This is their kit. Um, it's, they don't sell the kit anymore, so this is all of it but a few pieces they don't actually have. Um, and I didn't have another Arduino that I can use, so I decided to just pick one up. They're not too bad. So we got an Arduino and uh, the thermal probe. This is a shield that does uh, just the I.O. Some extension parts. Uh, this is their LCD shield kit. And the only reason I'm doing this is so that my wife will actually use this machine. Because there's no way she's going to do anything without a, an interface. So uh, I'm not going to record every little bit of this because this is all a bunch of soldering. I gotta assemble each one of these shields. I gotta. This is already assembled, thankfully. But uh, I gotta assemble the rest of this. So I'm gonna put it together, and I'm just gonna do kind of like a steps. Uh, again, you can follow their fantastic description there on their website. All right, so we got the sous vide machine fired up here, right there. And this is just an old school crock pot turned high. And this has actually been melted before, but that's okay. Um, water temperature looks like it's at 59 degrees right now. So it's heating up. And uh, I decided that I'm going to run this with my kilowatt just to see how much power we're actually pulling. And uh, how much power we're using over time here. So far we've used none. Basically none. Uh, but it does spike up a little bit, so that means that it's actually working. It's in there, pop up to an amp. Alright, so we ended up wrapping it in a blanket to help keep it warm, because I don't think that the heating element on this thing can heat hot enough without it. Well, it's been heating for about an hour and a half now, maybe two hours. And uh, it is constant. So we're within half a degree. It doesn't keep it exactly on, but pretty close. So it's showing that it's using, it's on 47.7% of the time. You can see it's shutting it off. I'll turn it back on. It draws an amp when it's on, amp and a half. Alright, so I'm just, i uh, got some fresh eggs and I'm just going to put some eggs in here for about an hour and a half. And we'll see how they come out. So this is a common problem. I just put four eggs in, and the temperature dropped uh, two degrees very, very quickly. So it wasn't that much. The e eggs were refrigerated, but it's enough to alter the temperature of the water. Even though that water has a lot higher thermal mass, it's still making a difference. So it'll catch back up here in about five minutes, but for now it, it dropped real quick. All right, I've got my Arduino sous vide setup going here today, so we're just going to do a real quick video on um, what we're cooking today, just giving this thing a shot. Um, this is the relay controller box. There's another video showing you how I did this. And this is the uh, Arduino. Right now we're set to 71C because we're going to be cooking a steak medium. This is my... Uh, low-tech crock pot. It is wrapped in this blanket to help keep it a little warmer. It doesn't put, it doesn't require very much current, so uh, it doesn't get hot very fast. 
um, show you what I mean here. So uh, I got it hooked up to the kilowatt and uh, 120 volts, but we're only pulling when it's on, it's not turning it on and off. It's only pulling 200 watts. There it goes. You can see it turn on and then off for a second. It's uh, cycling that relay, and right now it's only running it 20% uh, of the time. All right, so this thing is going to heat up. It's at uh, 47 or 47C, and it's going to heat up to 71C. And we're going to put the steaks in here to cook, and we'll see how they turn out. All right, this has been cooking for 10 and a half hours. Well, it's been running for 10 and a half hours, and uh, it's not holding the temperature very well because it's air conditioned in here. So we had to wrap this in blankets, but it should be actually a little hotter than what we had set it for. The spoons are to keep everything from floating. Alright, so now we're going to get it out and try it. We're going to cook, um, blueberries. Blueberries? I thought we were going to cook eggs. We're going to cook blueberries and eggs. Oh, in where are we gonna cook them? What is that? Cloth pot. Oh, okay. Cook them in the cloth pot. Yep. Inside the cloth pot. Inside the cloth pot. 